Hummingbirds are marvelous creatures. Beautiful, almost magical, their iridescent colors shift with just the turn of their head. This has inspired people to give many species exotic sounding common names. Green Crown Brilliant, Purple Throated Mountain Gem, Violet Saberwing, Fiery Throated. Masters of the air, they are champions of hovering. They can also fly backwards, or in the case of the black chinned hummingbird's courtship, side to side. To have this level of control, they beat their wings on average 80 times per second. To get oxygen to their muscles, their heart can beat up to 1,260 times per minute, and they can take around 250 breaths in the same amount of time. In order to accomplish these amazing feats, hummingbirds are supercharged. No other vertebrates have metabolisms as fast. The energy required to power their hovering flight and associated physiology is derived from sugary nectar they drink from flowers. Quite remarkably, they can run their entire metabolism on ingested sugar. A human athlete can maybe only get 30% of required metabolic energy from sugar. Hummingbirds use a process called the sugar oxidation cascade to derive this energy. Sugar is ingested and immediately dumped into the bloodstream where it flows to the flight muscles where it is needed and quickly broken down in the mitochondria with the help of all the oxygen being pumped through the bird's body. If you are interested in learning a little more about some of the consequences of this highly efficient system, check out the video on the iCard by the YouTube channel Biobush that answers why all this sugar in the bloodstream doesn't cause these birds to develop diabetes. This crazy fast metabolism means hummingbirds need a lot of food to have enough energy to survive. They expend so much energy they need to consume roughly half their body weight in sugar every day. The possibility of running out of sugar and starving to death is a constant threat to these birds. To make things worse, the plants hummingbirds have co-evolved with have their own agenda. They produce weaker nectar than insect pollinated plants. This forces the hummingbirds to feed at many flowers, ensuring the exchange of pollen, but this leaves hummingbirds almost always on the edge of starvation. This means many hummingbirds must defend their nectar resources, not only from other hummingbirds, but also thieves like the flower piercer, which cuts into the base of flowers, taking sugar out of the side and circumventing the pollination process. One of the most interesting aspects of the hummingbird metabolism is that they can essentially turn it off at night in a state known as torpor. In the dark, they would be unable to find the flowers, and without nectar, their high metabolism would run out of energy quite quickly, and they would die. So every night, hummingbirds must go into a hibernation-like state. Their heartbeat that beats over a thousand times per minute in the day slows, sometimes becoming as slow as 50 times per minute, and their body temperature falls rapidly. When dawn breaks, they start their system back up and head off to refuel. Incredibly, a few species migrate long distances from the temperate zones to the tropics and back again to take advantage of seasonal flowers in North America. One such migration done by the ruby-throated hummingbird includes a flight over the open ocean, crossing the Gulf of Mexico. How they do this non-stop flight without running out of sugar is one of the most incredible migration feats of any bird. Hummingbirds are just amazing. Though seemingly delicate and fragile, they are some of the toughest birds out there, dealing with the near constant threat of starvation and thriving. Want more hummingbirds? Any of these four videos are worth watching if you want to learn more about these beloved little avians. Go check them out.